is hey let's get it let's get it so girl today i want to show you how to make multiple streams of income it doesn't matter what side hustle you have it doesn't matter what business you have it doesn't matter if you haven't started a business yet i just want to show you how you can take one thing and then you can turn it into so many more, so many more, more girl. Anyway, I can't even talk. So <laughs> I did this for myself as well. So I want to show you kind of like what I did. So this will help you. This is going to be a long video, girl. Get your Starbucks. Hey, get your notebook. Hey, and get your pen. Hey, and get your pen. <laughs> Because, girl, you're going to want to write down these ideas because you can also use these in your own niche. Okay? Or business or side hustle. Let's get into it. Now, um, I'm going to be using examples. Okay? Everything that I'm using is an example or an idea. Okay? So, let's get into it. So, let's just say your passion is homeschooling. Okay? You have it right here. She's helping, she's helping the kids. Okay? teaching them some things okay so let's say you said okay i want to do a side hustle or a homeschool business okay either way you want it to be homeschool now one idea that you can do is you can sell uh printable worksheets okay it doesn't matter what grade the kids are in whether it's high school whether it's middle school or elementary you can sell these worksheets and it doesn't matter whether it's on your own website or Etsy or wherever, okay? So that is one idea that you could do in that niche. Now, another thing you can do is start a YouTube channel for homeschooling. As you can see here, this person talks about addition, uh, seasons of the year in Spanish, lines and segments, all of that good stuff. So you could start a YouTube channel Um in the homeschool niche as well. You can also start a homeschool podcast, okay, for moms to listen to during their busy day. Let's move on here. The next thing that you could do is write a how to get started with homeschool ebook, okay, and you can put this wherever you want to, you know, Gumroad, Etsy, Shopify, wherever you want to put it. Okay, so that's another idea for you. Let's move on. You can also do homeschool planning sheets. Okay, you can say, okay, these are the daily tasks. These are what we're going to work. This is what we're going to work on today. So kind of like a homeschool planner. Okay, you can also make that up as well. Then you can also just do a homeschool blog. Okay, you can put affiliate links on here. You can write all kind of homeschool articles for moms to read okay so those are some excellent ideas if you're in that niche and like i said we're just using example niches here this can still apply to your niche no matter what the niche is okay all we're looking to do is capture the ideas okay so let's move on here now, let's just move on to another niche. Let's say that you are into cake decorating and you're saying, okay, biz and jobs, how can I maximize my money? How can I make multiple streams of income if I'm a cake decorator, girl? Let me show you. Hey, let me show you, girl, because we're going to be decorating that money. All right. So let's say, number one, you do a video master class. Okay, you post it on your own website and people can come sign up and take your master class as you see here. I'm giving you examples for everything, girl, so you can see that this is real and that you can achieve this because somebody else did. Okay, I'm keeping it real with receipts over here. Okay, so you can do a um, master class. Let's move on here. You can start a YouTube channel like this particular person here, Cake Legend, and you can teach people how to decorate cakes. Very, very simple channel. Moving on here, you can sell cake decorating supplies on your own website or Etsy, wherever you want to do it. And what you would do is just go through the supplies and just see, hey, you know, what are people using? What's popular? What do I use? Okay. 
and you can sell all of these supplies here wherever you want to so that's another area you can make money and you can also have a cake blog okay and you can have recipes tutorials and cake inspiration let's move on down the road all right also you can just simply start a bakery you can start a small bakery and provide um cakes and cupcakes and all of that okay that can be in your plan with the cake decorating as well let's move on down okay you can also do a cake blueprint ebook and don't worry all of the ideas are not going to be the same for every niche honey they're going to be different some of them are going to repeat because you can do ebooks for a lot of different things and youtube channel for a lot of different things but i do have a lot of new ideas okay so like I said, this is a cake blueprint ebook and it comes with a video. Okay. And you can literally do an ebook with a video to show people this is how you are supposed to do your cakes and give them tips and all of that good stuff. Moving on, you can do cake classes, online cake classes, kind of like the YouTube thing, but you would be able to do, um, you know, more intimate videos. Okay. More intimate videos with your. Uh, students and you can also charge a membership fee okay so let's go on and move on here you can do affiliate marketing with cake decorating because all you would do is go to Amazon look at all the supplies now with this supplies you'll click on um, each one individually and you will add it to a list your list will be see up here it says account and list you'll click here create a list Okay, and you can just call it cake decorating, and then you would add all of the items that you know that people would need for cake decorating. You add it on that list, put it under a YouTube video or your blog, and people will be able to click on it, and they can buy exactly the supplies that you use. So that's another way, girl, to make the money. Hey, get that, get that money. Let's move on. Another thing you could do is sell cakes on Facebook. Here is a total guide on how to do stuff, uh, how to do uh, that uh, st uh, from step one, okay? And I have a friend that lives an hour away from me, and she does cakes and cupcakes and chocolate dipped strawberries. Uh, people contact her from Facebook, okay? And they're looking for somebody, and maybe a bakery isn't near them, or maybe they don't know anyone, and so they try you out. Okay, so that is how that works. All right, and let's go on down here and let's switch the niche here. Let's get into candles. Let's say that, you know, hey, I'm not a homeschool person. You know, I'm not a cake decorating person. Let's get into the candles, girl, okay? Let's get into that. So right here, you can just simply make your candles and just sell them on Etsy or sell them on Shopify. Okay, it's simple as that I'll show you Shopify here is a store a candle store on Shopify girl and I'm telling you I came with receipts because I want to show you that you can do this okay nobody's stopping you now baby girl okay and you can also do a YouTube channel showing people how to make candles and just you know candles for beginners can uh, making candles one-on-one -on -one. You can introduce all the different type of waxes, supplies, all of that good stuff. Let's move on here. You can also do a uh, candle making basics, uh, kind of like an ebook, digital download. You can put this on It's Your Shopify as well. Let's keep it pushing. You can also do affiliate marketing by making a list like I showed you earlier, adding candle supplies and letting your um let's just say if you have a blog or a youtube channel you can add your affiliate links under it and you can make money that way let's keep on pushing you can also sell candle supplies okay we just talk about affiliate marketing that's marketing other people products okay but now we're talking about you owning the supplies and you're selling the supplies okay you can sell the supplies wherever you want all you want to do is go through write down what you use and also look and see what's popular okay look and see what's popular maybe you don't use soy wax but that's popular so you want to add that in your store as well okay so you can just make candles and also sell the supplies let's go ahead and move on here you can also do candle making classes 
Okay, you can uh, have a membership, teach people how to do classes that will be a more intimate setting than YouTube. All right, let's move on down here. And if you don't want to have your uh, own courses on your website, another idea for you is to go to udemy.com and you can host your course here. It's easier to do this than to make your own website and put your course on there. Okay, you can just put it on Udemy. And as you can see here, there are a lot of different candle making courses that people have already made. And you can put your own price on there, whatever you want to charge. Here's a lot of candle uh, classes here. So, I mean, hey, these people, we don't know them, honey, but they did it. So, this means that you can turn right around and you can put your class on Udemy 2 or your own website, girl. Do not sleep on yourself, okay? Because this 2024, girl, hey, and we trying to get some more, girl. All right, now, let's move on. All right, girl, let's keep it going. So let's say that you are just a crafter to your heart. You love crafting. You love going to Michael's. You love going to, um, what's the other store? Hobby Lobby. So let's just say you want your life to be about crafting, and it could be crafting anything. Okay, so the first thing that you could do is sell crafting supplies anywhere you want. Okay, like I said, these sites are just used for an example. Okay, so you can sell crafting supplies on Etsy, Shopify, wherever you want to sell it. The next thing you can do is um, you can buy the supplies from AliExpress. Now, when you're making things, you don't want to buy stuff from AliExpress and put it on Etsy and sell it as something you made and you didn't make it, okay? So I don't want you to get that tore up and then come back to me and say that your shop was closed, okay? Now, supplies... Obviously, you don't make the supplies, so that's, you know, that's okay to buy somewhere else and resell on Etsy because of supplies. Okay, so let's get that together. But when, you, when you're when you saying something is handmade, please don't buy it from anywhere else. Actually, hand make it. Okay, but you can get your um, supplies from AliExpress. I know a person that sells jewelry on Etsy. They order all their jewelry supplies, um, not their actual jewelry now. But they order all their supplies that they sell from AliExpress. Okay, so that's an idea. Moving on, you can do a crafting uh, YouTube channel. Like this one right here called 5 Minute Crafts. They have 80 million subscribers, girl. Look, I mean, look at all of this. People just love crafting and they love crafting tips. Okay, 80 million subscribers, girl. That money could be going in your pocket, okay? Let's keep it pushing. You can also do a craft blog. Let's keep it going here. Um, you can also uh, sell craft projects, okay? Craft projects is like if you want someone to make a um, bracelet, you would put all the supplies together for them to make the bracelet, and they will buy the whole project from you. Here is one here. This is a marbling clay kit. Okay, so you would put the, the kit together for the customer, and uh, this person here is charging uh, $36, and they can make their own marble, you know, plates or, or, or jewelry dishes, whatever they're making here. So that is also an idea just to sell the actual um, kits. That, that would be really fun to do. Let's keep it pushing here. All right, and the next thing we have here um, is we're going to move on to reading. Okay, yes, you can make money if you're just a reader, and I will show you how. So let's just say you love to read books. Let's just say you read 100, 200 books a year, and you're like, okay, I'm in the reading niche. How could I make money off of this? You know how? Okay, because people are like, oh, you always have to have talent. Girl, no, you don't. Okay, so let's just say you are a book lover. You want to know how to make money off of that. Now, one thing that you probably didn't know is there are a lot of book summary channels, okay, on YouTube. One is called Escaping Ordinary, and all he does is read books and summarize it, and he, he make videos summarizing it. That's it. It's just as simple as that. He summarize, summarizes each book. You can do self-help books. You can do business books. You can do children's books. Whatever what whatever niche that you're in, uh, uh, genre of books that you like, 
go ahead and make a channel about that. If you're in the romance, girl, just make a romance book channel. It, you know, there are a lot of romance book lovers out there. Okay, so how else can you make money besides a YouTube channel? You can have a reader podcast and discuss different books that you're reading. And you can also do summaries on there. Let's keep it pushing. All right. And uh, here is another one here. Um, excuse me, not another one. That, the last thing was a podcast. Here is a blog. You can do a blog and review books on your blog. Okay, you can do this. Okay, and you're just in the in the reading niche right now. You just you just love to read. That's it. It's just that simple. You don't have to write any books. Okay, and also you can use affiliate links to the books that you have read and put them under your videos, blogs, all that good stuff as I have stated before. Okay, you can also go to whatever site you want to go to. Okay, because I know you're seeing Etsy and Shopify a lot. You don't have to sell here. I just want to reiterate that, okay? I'm just giving you examples. I just want to say that again before you guys get to the comments, okay? So here are all the different bookmarks that you can do. You can do printable bookmarks, okay? You don't have to ship anything. You can make the bookmarks in Canva, put them up here, and people can download them and they can print them out on cardstock. Cardstock is a very thick grade of paper, and then they will be able to hold their place in their book. Okay, and this is just if you just love to read, you can do all this. Okay, another thing you can do is just sell book lover products. You can sell book lover stickers and book sleeves and journals, as you see here, book weights, as you see here, um, beautiful bookmarks, as I have already stated. Um, you can do candles that, that has that book library smell. You know, a lot of people like that. Girl, hey, it may sound funny, but people... People love that old book type of smell, okay? I know it sounds crazy, but it is true. You can even sell book lover merch, as you can see here with the t-shirt. Okay, so you can just go crazy and just have a book lover store since you are so obsessed with books. It is just simple. And this is just if you like to read. You can make a business or side hustle if you like to read. It's just that simple, okay? Now let's move on. Let's just say you want to get into hand making soap. Okay, obviously you can go to Etsy. They have all kind of different uh, soap examples and pictures and all this good stuff of what you could actually uh, sell. And you can sell on it, sell your own website, of course. Then here's, here's someone here that's selling on their own website. This is uh, Buff City Soap. And they have their own website. They're not relying on Etsy or anyone, no third-party seller. This is their own soap. And what I want to tell you is that you can always expand what you have decided to sell first. So if you said, okay, I want to sell soap, you can also sell laundry soap, okay? You can also do bath bombs. You can do foaming hand soap. So what I'm saying is you don't have to just stick to one product. You can spend, you know, um, expand as long as it goes with kind of like what your general niche is. You don't want to be selling plants and then you're selling laundry soap. It doesn't make sense. Okay, so I want to remind you of that. You can also do um, different recipes of soap and sell that. And you can also sell beginner soap making ebooks. Okay, excellent idea. You can also have a soap making channel, girl. Here is an example. Here, she has 276,000 followers, uh, subscribers. So you cannot tell me that a soap channel will not do good. All right. Here's all the different videos that she does. So you can't say, well, nobody has a soap channel. Not true. Just showed it to you. Moving on, you can also do your soap making course courses and put them on Udemy. Okay, maybe you don't want to do this whole YouTube thing and that's fine. You can just um, record all your videos and slap the course on Udemy for other people to take. And then, you know, if you don't want to do YouTube, you do not have to. Okay, and you can get into selling soap supplies. Okay, think about all the supplies that you use to make your soap. Other people are going to want to buy that supplies. So you can just say, okay, I'm making soap. I'm selling the soap I'm making. And then I'm turning around, girl, and I'm selling their supplies. Hey, and I'm getting that money. Girl, dust your shoulders off. Girl, you got this. All right, let's move on here. And, of course, you can do affiliate marketing if you do YouTube or a blog. 
you can just come here and make that list like I showed you earlier. And here's a lot of soap supplies. You're going to add the supplies that's needed to the list. And then your customers can also click by the same stuff that you have. And you will make a commission off of that. All right. All right, girl, let's get into the last stretch here. Now, let's say you are a jewelry girl, honey, and you love your necklaces, your earrings, and your bracelets. So let's say you want to get into jewelry. So obviously, you can just make and sell your own jewelry on whatever platform you choose, as you can see here. You can see what's popular and what people are really buying. And what they really love is personalized jewelry. So I'll go ahead and give you that little nugget. Now, you can also do a YouTube channel. Of course, do a YouTube channel about anything. Okay, and you can show people how to make bracelets, necklaces, uh, how to personalize jewelry, whatever you want to do. All right, and you can also sell jewelry manufacturer and suppliers list. And there's a lot of suppliers and manufacturers right here, right? But um, if you've worked with some, you know, other people are going to want to review. They're going to want to know, hey, you know, is this uh, company legit? Is this manufacturer legit? And if you have tried several of them, you can sell your own personal list because nine times out of ten, a newbie has no idea who these people are. Okay, so let's move on. Let's go into another niche and let's say that you are passionate about plants and gardening and all of that good stuff. Of course, you can start a YouTube channel, okay? And of course, you can go ahead and say, I'm going to make online courses for beginner gardeners. Anything beginner will work, okay? And you can also come over here and you can think about doing um, uh, uh, guides and podcasts and also blogs, okay? You can do a gardening blog, put um, affiliate links on there. All right, let's move on to another niche. You have baby books. Let's say you your, your dream is to write baby books or children's books, okay? And you're like, okay, well, how do I make money with that besides just... Um, writing the book okay so let's just say you write the book okay but how do you self-publish you head on over here after you have the the book written and what you want to do also before that write this down if you're in this niche you want to go to fiverr.com okay fiverr.com f-i-v-e-r-r.com and fiverr someone on there will make you a you can hire someone to make your cover Okay, you need your book cover. And make sure it's formatted. You want, you want to have it formatted for lulu.com, okay? Lulu.com is where you're going to self-publish your book. And then you're going to order copies of your own book to resell. Okay, honey, been there, done all this. And I know you're saying, God darn, she done done everything. Show sure have. You have no idea how much money I spend going in and out of side hustles and businesses, girl, about 60 grand. Okay, so let what, 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 put it in your hand, 60 grand. Okay, so I just want to be transparent. And that's why I'm doing everything that I'm doing on my channel. Okay, because I done been there, done all of this. Okay, so like I said, you go to Fiverr.com and get your um your cover done see right here they will do your cover you kind of tell them what you want and they will design your cover for you you come on here you upload your book uh what you've written but you make sure it's formatted for lulu okay so on fiverr.com you want to get your your book formatted as well as get someone else to do your cover a graphic designer can do your cover and you can get someone else to do your formatting once both of those things are done Okay, and I'll just type in Lulu formatting or something like that in Fiverr and then they'll find the person for you. You hire that person. Once you have both of those two things done, you want to come here, create your account, and then you want to upload your cover and your book. They'll put it together. And the more you buy of your book, the cheaper it is. Been there, done that, girl. Okay, been there, done that. So that's how to do that. So you can make money with your own uh, book. Okay. Make money with your own book, all right? And you can put uh, the book up for sale at Amazon, your own website, or however you want to do it. Now, let me give you a little tip that's going to make you pop off. 
if you do a children's book or a baby book, um, you can figure out and you can figure out a way to get the book personalized. Okay, that's something that you probably have to do uh, at home somehow. You just have to figure that out how to personalize you know, um, a baby book or just whatever, look, look, look up something like that on YouTube, how to personalize a book, because that's, what's really popping. People want to see their baby's name in the book. People want to see their child's name in the book. Okay. So you get your own website like this and this website is faded. It's not my computer. It, this is just faded out. And I don't even know how people are ordering from here because you can't even see really what she has here. Okay. You can see these, but the rest of them, it's like, it's washed out. Okay, so I don't know what she got going on with this bootleg site um, that you can't really see. But anyway, you can um, figure out a way to get it personalized and your book will sell more. Let's go ahead and move on here. You can also do coloring pages for babies, okay, or toddlers or whatever. You can do coloring sheets as you can see here. I'll keep scrolling down. Look at all these coloring sheets and you can learn how to make coloring sheets from... Um, from YouTube, or you can go to creativefabrica.com. That's creativefabrica.com. And you can buy um, the coloring sheets that people are giving you the full right to resell. Okay. And you can put them up here, but I wouldn't do that. I would hire somebody on Fiverr to make me some coloring pages of my own because you don't want to have the pages that everybody else has. Okay. So I would sell like baby coloring pages. That would be something else that you can do here. Another idea to make money, start a story time um, YouTube channel, okay? That's all you have to do. And then read children's books. You know, do these cute little, uh, have these cute little thumbnails made, okay? And you can just go and make your own on canva.com, okay? And then read children's books, okay? There's a lot of parents that let their children listen to um, a story being read to them before bed, okay? And you can make money that way. All right, so let's move on here. Let's just say that you're passionate about working out and losing weight and you want to, you know, try to figure out how can I make money from that. Now, number one, you can sell recipe books for weight loss, uh, meal prepping books, that type of thing. It's right here. This book is selling well, okay? Moving on. You can also have a cooking channel telling, showing people, excuse me, how to prepare uh, the meal plans and how to cook food for weight loss. Moving on, uh, like this channel here, this channel has 1.52 uh, million subscribers, okay? And they're talking about, they're doing workouts and nutrition, okay? So you can do workouts just like they're doing. Okay, just like they're doing. If you see somebody doing it, you can do it too, period. You can get paid to do what you're already doing, which is working out. The next thing you can do is make your own weight loss or workout app. Okay, they have plenty of them here uh, on this site. Right here, as you can see, it says best workout apps. Okay, which is an app called Caliber. So what I would do is I would go through the apps and see what they don't have, see what they're missing, see how they're structured, see how everything is um, uh, looking on the site. Write down what you like, I'm not on the site, on the app. Write down what you like on the app, what you wanna add on your own app and all that good stuff, and then just find a coder on fiverr.com and have them create the app for you. That's, that's all you have to do, it's just that simple. Moving on, you also want to have a website and start a membership program for online workouts. Okay, they can pay, I don't know, 20 to $40 a month and they can ac access all of your workouts or you can just simply do live workouts. Okay, and go watch other people um, do everything, you know, that you want to do, go work, go watch people, other people work out. That's already doing membership programs. So you can see how they run their live. Are they doing it live or are they recording the video and then sticking it on their website? And then, um, people that pay get to see that private video or what? Okay. You need to know all of that. Moving on. The last thing that you can do to make money, if you're in the workout or weight loss, niche is you can sell your own private label fitness products 
All you have to do is head on over to Alibaba.com and you can order these items with the name that you have chosen for your brand on it. Okay, so you can have mats with your name on it. Let's just say Workout for Fun is your brand name. Um, they will do your custom logo on the mats or anything else that you want. Okay, but make sure you see what items are popular first. Then, you know, put your name on those items. You don't want to just, you know, select random items and put your name on it and hope that it's going to sell. You're going to have to do more research than that and look around, see what people are buying, uh, what people that are working out or losing weight, see what they are buying. That's what you want to put your logo and your brand name on. Okay, that is all you have to do if you want to make money in the workout niche. All right, girl. I put this long video together for you because I just wanted to show you that no matter what niche you choose, what side hustle, what business, I can show you how to make the maximum amount of money with multiple streams of income. Okay, this is something I use for myself. I said, okay, you know, this is what I'm building. What else can I extract out of this? What other things can I sell? What other things can I produce? What else can I do to generate that money? Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And do me a favor. If you guys want me to do a video on specific niches, let me know, put it in the comments and say, hey, I want you to do the makeup niche and show me how to make maximum money that way. I can do a personal video for you. I will post it for everybody to see and give you a little shout out. But yeah, so if you want one done on a specific industry, let me know and I'll get it done, girl, because I'm here to serve. I'm here to serve, girl. I'm just trying to make you that green. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. I will talk to you later.